Good uh, evening, Tim. I wish to welcome you to the Microsoft Office uh, course that we had earlier started. And uh, we, just before the starting of the lecture, I wish to apologize uh, on the sending of the video that was promised for, for last week, the last video for last week. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, the, uh, I, one of, I, as one of the presenters, I had the flu, and the voice wasn't uh, audible enough. So the coordinator had asked for the redo of the video, which was done on multiple times. But I uh, thought better the best, uh, better presentation be offered on a Monday. So this is why we continue. So apology, uh, we apologize for the delay or failure to stick to the outlined program that we had earlier made. Okay, so straight away, we want to jump into our study. Uh, just, uh, we can just go to our coming page. So, uh, we'll come here to the SmartNet Edge Center. We've been doing this uh, online courses. The previous uh, course we did was uh, computer expertise. And the computer expertise, we covered different aspects. Uh, for, for some who wish to follow through, the videos uh, can be searched through the same channel by YouTube. You'll find some of those videos. They'll help you basically get to know how to work around with computers and uh, get to do multiple things. Uh, so that has been made open to the public. Now we started the Microsoft Office package. So under the Microsoft Office package, the earlier course that uh, the earlier lecture that was covered was under Word. So Word we did. And uh, uh, I believe as the people that have been following through, you have followed through, it was one of the fascinating uh, aspects of Microsoft Office package. It introduced us to opening documents, editing, and doing multiple things. And what you are seeing, the, the page that has been opened, it is in Word. So we saw quite a number of things, the designs, and a lot of things that made the presentation uh, become very easy. Uh, we came to later on to the publisher. Publisher, we discussed uh, what designs you're able to make. You can make business cards. You can be able to make calendars. You can be able to make fancier uh, invitations, maybe brochures and such. Cards will be able to be made and different features will be able to move. This differentiates you from these other facets like weight and uh, other, other aspects. You find that maybe to put a picture, it will limit you where it's supposed to be put, to put some words, it will limit you. But when you come to publisher, it will allow you to squeeze things according to the way we want and be able to bring up your presentation as nice as possible. Then later on, we went to Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. In Microsoft PowerPoint, this introduced us to the presentations that we were able to make. We did some fancier picture, design, background change, we're able to do with this, we're able to make a presentation. We can show that we're able to make a recording of the video so that uh, at the end of the day, we can share a video of a presentation that is of a PowerPoint uh, shared presentation. So uh, later on, that is for today, we want to tackle the one note. Then we'll look at the Outlook. Then Outlook will bring us to Excel and Access. If you have seen, we are keep rearranging the flow of these uh, packages for Microsoft Office. Uh, the way the publisher, the PowerPoint, these were done because they were at least different from each other. We talk of OneNote and the Outlook, also uh, a bit uh, somehow different from each other. But when we talk of Excel and Access, you'll see a lot of similarities between the two because database is basically the information input so you are putting in figures you are taking a lot of uh, information maybe uh, you have gone for a data collection so data collection you take maybe through questionnaires you ask neighbors or people around you ask questions and they'll give you answers then after that you will have to give now how many people answered this how many people gave this i mean so you have a data collection now you're trying to present the information that has been given so now that's why we have the Excel. So Excel will be how we are going to input that data. Now we come to see the data, the access, Microsoft Access for database. It too work like Microsoft Excel. 
in the data inputting and data manipulation. So basically this one, the access will take us to a higher degree of much data input imputation and uh, 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 we're going to do a lot of uh, things with the data compared to what we're going to do with Excel. Excel will allow us to do the mathematical equations, statistical aspects, and all those uh, will be able to allow us. But when we talk of access, access is allowing us a multiple input of data that can be utilized for further manipulation. <coughs> so that's what we are, that's what we we'll look at. So these two, we try to reserve them to be the last to avoid the, uh, it to be too much of a gap. Better we explain the Excel once we are done we come to the access and it will make much sense to the followers. So basically, this is uh, uh, the presentation and we advise that please feel free uh, to leave a comment or subscribe to our YouTube page or slash our Facebook page and uh, for more IT lectures. So we have more lectures that are coming, more courses that are coming and we'll keep attaching and presenting under the same platform, the same uh, page that has been created. So we have the course uh, being presented in different languages. There's English, there's Swahili, there's French. So basically there are different coordinators. Uh, we have a Daniel, uh, more like the instructors. We have Daniel, we have Ishmael, we have uh, Maxwell, that's I, and Mokwani. So these are different people that are going to present in different languages. As the class is going in this line, this is class two, there's class one with another person who is presenting. The other classes too that have been presented, but all under one coordinator that gets to monitor and allow the information to be regulated and control in places where errors have been made. So that's why we get approvals. Once information comes, we are approved to go ahead and be able to share the links to the people that we are going to be uh, sharing that information with. So straight away, we don't want to draw much underweight. This one, we had finished it. We want to go into the Microsoft OneNote. So what is Microsoft OneNote? Or how do we get to open Microsoft OneNote? So like the other facets of Microsoft, we said it is simple. If we want to open Microsoft OneNote, the easiest way we can go, the, the better way we can go around it, we can just come to the search page. Then we can type uh, OneNote. And OneNote will pop out. And we are open to open and go into it. So me, I'll open. The goodness with OneNote, even if you don't have uh, window, Microsoft Office installed, it comes with Windows. So if you see mine, it's showing me OneNote for Windows 10. This is the one that comes specifically with Windows 10. Then there's the OneNote now, the one that I've installed with the package of Microsoft Office. So once I click here, it will come and we'll be able to open. The other way I can come to it is by coming on a free desktop. When I come on a free desktop, I right click. So once I right click on a free desktop, it will bring me that tab. When I go to new, new, under new, then there I can be able to uh, to check. Is one note there? Okay, I think my one note has not been added to the tab here. So, okay, we remain with one option. That is the one to just go ahead like that. But in normal case, we're supposed to see all the facets under Microsoft here. But why OneNote is not presenting itself here? Because OneNote is more like uh, it's Windows. Windows operating system will come specifically with it also. So it's more like part of the Windows program. And we can see all Windows program highlighted here. So basically, uh, we just come there and we'll be able to, to see it. Then also, if you want, you can just come on all the apps. Once you are there, you'll be able to see under Microsoft. Because here, they will align you all the apps that are contained. So you can come here and uh, you'll be able to see the one note. So they have got two one notes here. There's a one note that is under the Microsoft packet that I've installed. And there's a, there's a one note under Windows 10 that comes with it. So basically, as simple as that, those are different options. You can get to find the one note. And once you just click on it, it starts opening like that. So these are some of the other works that we are trying to do. We can come to the file so that we go, you know, step by step, how we can get to work around it. So in simple terms, before we go deeper into it, one note basically is a note taker. And this one note, it's very good 
you find it uh, in uh, for if you're using Android based uh, phones, you can find it on the Google Play. You're going to just on Google Play type one note, then you're going to download it. It's one and the same. Uh, you give my, those who are using Apple, they use iStore there, they'll get that. Uh, different, different versions. Windows too, they'll also find it uh, in the store, a uh, Windows store, and they'll be able to access it. This one is more of, uh, for me, I prefer it to using it more not on a computer, but on a gadget like a phone or a tablet. Uh, more especially the one that can allow even to have a pain that I can be able to try it because it's a note taking uh, app that has been brought in by Microsoft Office. And from there, you get to learn that most of the features that it has, they really work well for doing the work really quick, fast. E.g., we we'll get to learn some of the facets. You see that you can be able to type. You can be able to, to just get your pencil, maybe, uh, you know, sometimes to type with the alphabetical, uh, maybe the keyboards that are there in the phone and such. It's too cumbersome. And for such people who have a touch, touch uh, maybe touch laptop, you also get to enjoy it. Because you find a feature where it brings you a blank page, which you can just write with a pen or a finger if yeah, it's a touch. So you'll be able to write whatever you write, and you'll be able to convert what you've written into normal text. So it will be printed in, an, in a printed form. That will help you sometimes when you're too quick. It's too difficult sometimes to go with the key, key by key. You're trying to type in letter by letter, making a word. But there you'll be able to write, and information will flow like that. You'll be able to save it. You'll be able to organize the information and be able to share it in different aspects. So, uh, you can talk of the information. So part of the information, we are now in the file segment. So under this file segment, there are a lot of things that you can get to do. Uh, part of it, you will see some of the, it will tell us the storage. It will give us, uh, uh, we want to share the notes that we have done, the notes, uh, different aspects in such, in that we come to the new. So the new will give us, we uh, want to open a new notepad, notebook of, uh, a new book where we can type in, write some new things, uh, open maybe it from a specific page or something, uh, looking for maybe something that we have worked on recently, be it online, saved, or anywhere. We can do the printouts, printing. We can share that file to other people, just like we mentioned uh, earlier on. You want to share the information in what format, exportation, so we're going to export it. And these are different formats that you can get to export it as a document, as a PDF, as a XPS, uh, uh, different different formats. The file will get the X uh, sent and information will flow like that. And one thing that you can get to see is it has always, each, each notebook has three segments. There's the page segment, there's the section segment, and there's the notebook segment. So the notebook will have under this, under it of the sections and the pages we we'll get to see how such information is. So we can send that information to anywhere we want, or it can automatically send. So we can send it as a PDF or different aspect that is there. And we come to, this is just a total summary of our Microsoft account. I seem to have an error there that is causing my Microsoft uh, part of it to be loading, uh, but that is not much of a problem. It gets to be resolved. It should be packages getting some Windows updates. So there we go up to from the file segment we come to home and you'll see that uh, in comparison to excel word and publisher some of these are some of the common components that you get to see under uh, microsoft uh, onenote you see the home it's one and the same that you can see so these are tabs tab one tab two tab three tab four tab five tab six tab 7, and this tab. And under the tab, we can see there are ribbons. So this is the ribbon that is that is under here. They said also we have a ribbon. Under the draw segment, we have a ribbon. The history segment, we have a ribbon. The review, we have a ribbon. And view to we get to have a ribbon. So uh, uh, straight away, like what we said, uh, so when we come to home, so the home segment there, Mostly this one used to help us or would really get to help us into the editing segment. 
So we type, we edit, we change the font, we change the design, we change the highlight. We do multiple things to, towards the words that have been written. And when you talk of the insertion segment, it's why now we're trying to add in things that are not been done by us. E.g., we're going to push in equations, symbols. So these are already made things that we want to push in into our, our design. So you have the spreadsheets, maybe some spreadsheet from Excel, document done in Excel called spreadsheet. You're going to draw them there. You want to edit them here. A lot of different segments you're going to use them. So audios, videos, and other things, and you can do live recording. So what we are saying here, you can just come do the recording. We'll try that one when we reach that segment. So we talk of the insertion. So I'm sorry for draw. Draw now is now where we are attaching something more than the weight because in the home, the home uh, segment, we are trying to attach, uh, we're trying to, to basically get to attach weights, uh, more like editing the weights and all that. But now this is a pictorial form we are editing. The history, as it says, it's just trying to recap us, uh, recurs up back to what worked on. The history, that's the history, the review. We just get to do the spelling check, translations, word change, and other symbols. And the viewing point is just to view how we're going to view those information and do a bit of the color of the page and other orientation to change of how we are going to be viewing our file. Okay, so that's just a quick look at a uh, summary of the different segments that we're going to come. So the playback, the playback basically if we have added something, we have uh, added videos, audios, this is the one that will allow us to listen to them before we go ahead. So uh, again, one thing that you can see, when you come on top on your Microsoft, so there is a back, there is a that undo. So the undo is for any mistake that is done, you can click on it, you have written something that you don't like, you can go to undo and it will clear them up. Now we come here. Yeah, there is a pointer that is pointing down. It is one important facet that we had forgotten to mention in the other facets of Microsoft Office. When you come to that draw down uh, button there, that is for the customizing the quick access toolbar. So the, everything about this Microsoft Office presentation page that you've seen here can be edited or can be moved and put in different views. Take for instance, this is playback, this is view, this is review, this is history, this is draw, this is insert. But uh, I will pretend I don't know anything. Now, I want to put a file, but I don't know that insert the files, to add the file, it's just going to insert, then insert, I can go and uh, add a file, an attachment to another file. But I am, um, I want to, it's to be given a different name, maybe, it just comes on top here. Maybe I just make my own home. Instead of home showing this segment, I just make my own. I give it a new name here so that underneath it, it will have a ribbon, a ribbon that will have most important things that I get to use than me starting to look, where is this one, where is that, where is that? So I can get to do that. So what we do is uh, it's simple. It's, you, the same can happen in uh, Excel, can also happen in PowerPoint, can also get to happen in Microsoft Word. So you just click on that customizing of the access toolbar. Once you are there, you just come here, you can see why it's saying uh, show more commands or more commands. So once you just go there, you're free, you'll be given a lot of things that you are able to do. So we can get to work with the ribbons. So the ribbon, like we mentioned, under the ribbon, we can see on the other side, it can show you the tabs. So these are the tabs that we have here. So we have the home tab, I think we're able to see them. So the home tab is relating to what we have on top here. We have the insert tab, can relate to what we are seeing next here. We have the draw, the history, the review, and it basically gets to come to that. So from here, if you don't like some, you are able to edit. If you want to add something, you are free, you can get to add on top of that and give them different names and you'll be able to move them. If you want to, for instance, we don't want the home always being the first. 
we want maybe inset to be the first one because it's the one we are working with. We can just come and highlight once we come to the inset uh, and we can maybe just push it up. So we can see there is home and inset, the two have just swapped. And once you do that, you can come to the OK. And once you do that, you come and see that our inset has become second and the home is third, is, is the third one. So from there, a lot of things can be done, especially if, uh, for people who really love the design it in a certain way that they want to work around. This is very important because once you, say you do this, uh, you customize it, then you sign in with an email, you are able to export. Once you log in from another device, you are able to export. No wonder what you are able to see here when you come here on the uh, more commands, you are able to import and export. So basically, you can get to see your design the way you want. Maybe your computer at home, you've designed it nicely. How you get to draw your pictures, do the publisher. and how it, So once you just come here, you just go to your file and import. You import that file. Once you send it on the or export it to a flash disk, so that you can be able to use any computer and you pick customized uh, segments as they want uh, as they need. So we've taken the chance to explain on that because there's nothing really much to be done in, uh, in the OneNote, but it is one of the facets of Microsoft Office and we use it. So we can come to, uh, to add a new notebook. So in the new notebook, maybe we can give it uh, that lecture, lecture, lecture four. We can name it lecture four. So where do you want to create it? So on the desktop, do you want to save it online? Or we can save it just on the desktop, so to PC? Okay, so that is fine. Do you want to choose a different folder to create it from? Or just let it just settle on the PC? So that is lecture, so we can create it. So this is our, 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 our book. So in this lecture, take for instance, on this particular day, I'm in class and uh, there is a lecture that is in front and is teaching us. Maybe the title, uh, you want to say, maybe from what the lecture said, okay, we are doing maybe it's in biology. So, okay. So that is uh, biology. Okay. So maybe the course is, is biology. Now we are taking notes. Uh, maybe talk of the functional groups. Uh, maybe uh, different things. Maybe uh, human beings. Maybe animals. Uh, birds. Okay, so different, different things have been mentioned. So uh, one thing that you can see in our, in our, our note taking, because note taking, if you see on your paper, you're taking notes, doesn't really necessarily keep you in one order. Like your words, once you've written the first line, the second one, the second one cannot come on top of it. We can write and drag them. So these ones can be, if you see, they start to just pop in. So you can move them and throw them whatever you want. That's, that will allow you to do that. And when you come to the words that we have written, we can always highlight, work with the home segment, the home segment that will allow us indentation. So we can indent them to move them forward to the left or right. We can come to the alignment and push them where we want to be at the center. We want to be pushed to the right, far right, far left, or just the normal paragraph spacing. So we are able to edit and do all such modification to our words. And we say, okay, we don't like maybe the font. So under home segment, we had mentioned there is this pop-up that is coming here. And then the main one here, it's one and the same. And they'll do us one and the same kind of change. So we can come to make them bold, bigger than the way they are looking. We can come to change the font type that we want. And we'll be able to change it to that font. We don't like maybe the words, the color of the words. We have the color change. You just come to that one there and you'll be able to change uh, the color of the words that you want uh, is with that color. Okay, so our words will be changed to the color of our choice. Uh, let's just pick a color that will make it visible enough plus 15 what we have written. So 
uh, basically that can give us that and one more thing that you can be able to do from there once you highlight the segment uh, always keep in mind that the change of a segment it needs to be highlighted so once you highlight it's a component you're selecting that input or that change that you're going to find under these ribbons is going to affect only those segments that is being highlighted so on highlighting we mentioned when you come to one letter when you double click, it's only one word that you highlight. When you triple click, so if it's a sentence, the whole sentence will be will be highlighted. If you triple click, if you double click, only one word that will be able to be selected. And from here, what you can see is, uh, so we talked of maybe you wish to to number these ones, uh, maybe some human beings, animals, other birds. I'm just giving an example. So you're able to give maybe what type of a bullet. You see uh, the bullet form that we have under one note. They are more than the ones that we usually get to have under the other segment. So we are able to pick, okay, how do you want the segment to be? Okay, so this is one message, one message. And from there, same applies. We can come to the numbering system and be able to change how we want those. Uh, maybe these the ones we have labeled as one, two, three. We can even change them to the format that we want, how should they be uh, categorized, should they be normal numerals, uh, normal numbers, where the counting. So all such can be put about and we're going to be taking that information or the notes. And away from that, we can uh, be able to change other things that we can see. So we can do a tag, be able to be tagging and we can find the tag that is by setting so once we do a tag we can attach a tag to what we are, we are talking maybe we tag them so that we can once you just come to the search it will take us directly to those tags where we have saved them and it will go through like that so we can even uh some of the tasks we can even keep them to highlight them uh to show when we want that information to be worked on is it the today, tomorrow, as a reminder? So we will put information according to the task, we'll flag that so that we get to know according to the order of priority when that information needs to be attended to. And you can mail the page. And this one is for meetings. It's a bit more, a bit advanced because we are able to use this one under calendar. So this one enables usually to create a meeting and be able to meet. Usually uh, it works in Teams, it works very well under Teams another segment of Microsoft Office, but we don't usually go deeper into it because it comes totally independent. There's a lot of facets that people get to enjoy uh, in terms of data sharing and mobilization. So straight away, uh, we've seen what we can do on the first segment. And now we come to the insertion. So the insertion is open. Yeah, so under insertion, we can get to insert a table. So we wish to put a small table. Okay, so there we put the table. Like we said, this allows us to move information and put it in any order we want. So maybe we are talking of uh, maze. Okay. So maze. Uh, cassava. Okay, millet, soya, okay, we can put soga. Okay, so maybe we are, we are trying to put maybe the numbers, maybe how many times has the person planted in a year, uh, maybe harvest times, how many times can you harvest maize in a year, maybe twice. Uh, the cassava maybe two, maybe millet will take you three times, so I will take you maybe four, sorghum will take you four times to invest within a year under one line that you are doing the plantation on. So one other thing that you can notice is uh, when I brought this table in, it gave me different formats of a table that I can get to use. So it allows me to select some rows that I want to highlight, select the table. I can do a lot of, quite a lot of things. And from here, I can even convert it to an Excel spreadsheet. So we are writing like this, but once I just come here, I'll be able to convert that into something different. How do I want to align the words the way they are? Do I want to align them in the center? So this word that I'm thinking on, because if you can see this one is on the far left. So 
So if I want, I can align them to put them at the center. Same applies with these words. Now, coming back to home, uh, sorry, uh, so we'll get to do something like that. Let me not jump uh, beyond time. So that is the table aspect. So we are able to attach files. Maybe we want to attach another document. So what is a document we want to attach? Okay, so we can come to the desktop and uh, pick something that will be interesting. You can just come direct if you want to the desktop and you say Excel lecture. Okay, so we can come and be able to insert it as a printout or as an attachment. So, so you can see, so I'll make a folder, then I can insert such information like that. And <coughs> I'll be able to open it in any format that I want. So this is what it allows you. So you can do a lot of things you want to change, want to add, provided what the case is, and that will be like that. So when I move this case, this folder and the file will be moving together. <coughs> as simple as that. So you can also insert a spreadsheet, but the spreadsheet is what we discuss when it comes to Excel. So just keep in mind that you are able to insert this. We can do a screen clipping. <coughs> so a screen clipping is once we come here, we can pick a segment from the screen. And once we pick a, a segment from the screen, <coughs> take for instance, we just pick a small segment from the screen. Once you pick that, that segment can still be inserted, can be adjusted to the way we want it to be, and it will still be inserted in our in our presentation or in our in our Excel, basically. So you'll be able to to do multiple things and be able to attach according to the way you want it. So you can take a picture, you can go online to add a picture. What picture do we want to add? Maybe let's get, uh, we're trying to be online here. Uh, so maybe let's check the one not pick. So picture for Microsoft one not. Okay, that's a being set. So we try to search to being to see if we can have a picture for Microsoft OneNote. Okay, so we can get that one and insert. Okay, I think our internet is a bit slow. So we're just getting that picture there. And if you can see, the page is too big. It's getting bigger and bigger with, with anything that we're getting to add on. So it's, it's, it's actually, this one gives you a very huge page that you are able to attach any information that you want because you are taking notes and notes will come in a different way. So one other thing that you get to notice is, so we've labeled it as lecture four. And what you can see after our lecture four, there is a section. So under this section, we can actually add more sections. So section one, there's section two. Section two is say uh, lesson plan, so it's a lesson plan. So also here, we can put information that we want, whatever we are writing, we can attach new information, and it will be whatever we want, we will do the normal need for that we want to do, and information will be entered just like that. Once we are done, also what you can see, the other thing that you can see, so when you just go on the tab, so we, we open this section, this section at this information. So we can also attach pages on top of it. So if you have that section, you can also add that. So that was just on one page, the biology page. So we are able to uh, to, to name different pages. Uh, maybe we put uh, history. Okay, so we can put history. So that will be a page for history. So there will be a lecture as a main, main, uh, main book, as a cover of a book. Then we have the, the, the section that will be there. So under the section, we have different sections. Then the, the sections, so we pick some of the sessions uh, that will be the section, section one. So section one had two pages. Under it, there was biology. Biology gave us this. And now we're coming to history. History also to attach and do other things that we want. So 
there are a lot of things that you can do. You can also link. So what does linking mean? A link is more like you link a page to somewhere a site online. What you want to do is when we type something like uh, my name is Maxwell. So what we want to do is we want to give people, once they come and click on that Maxwell, we want the Maxwell to take them to another page. So we want it to link them somewhere, to be linked to something. So we are going to, so you see, the text displays Maxwell. So we want to link it. Do you want to link it to a specific address or pick a location in one note? So we can pick a location uh, maybe according to what we want. Okay. So maybe in lecture four. Okay. So that's the address we want. So if you see, it has even changed the way it is looking, the color. So when I click on this, you see, this one takes me automatically to lecture four. When I come to this one, actually, it's where we are. So it will link me to that specific. So sometimes instead of inserting a video, you just say, to want to watch a video, click here. And once you go and click here, it will take you to the video and the video will start playing. So that is what we call the linking. So this we can do in Microsoft Office, Word and Excel to be able to attach that. So the audio recording, you can just click on the audio, you're able to insert the audio. So on that audio, it will be able to pop up and we'll start taking the recording that we are doing. And after that recording has been gotten, it will get to be added to the segment. And once we are done with the recording, we can just go and click done. So that recording will be able to cut itself under the way according to whatever information that you've said or attached, uh, be it in the class, you're in class, you're taking the recordings or the lecture is talking there, you are there to be able to get that information. So you can get it as audio, and have that information, be it in a meeting, you've been called for a meeting, you have with different team members, you're representing, that information is needed to be shared to the other team members. So you can go on the click recording there, you can do multiple things, some segment is done, you can hold, pause the information, once you're done, you can just copy it, and that information will be saved as such. So it will allow you to do multiple things, with the information that you are there, maybe you are getting information, you are going to attach dates, you are going to attach uh, pages, page templates, so a lot of multiple te page templates that you are going to get. Uh, do you want to categorize it as academia, academic, blank business? You decorate it in the certain fashion that you want it to be. And away from the session, you can see that you can also add equations. So equations two will be added, okay, it's a binomial theorem. So we want to add this binomial theorem uh, in that information that we have gotten there. So we are taking the notes and this information is being added and been put in a format that will be easy of presentation or keeping as raw material that will be able to pick up from. So there are quite a number of things that we can get to load in through the insertion and like we said, uh, when we are doing this note taking, sometimes this is because this most is personal. So if you want, you can come there, you can add the notebook. And once you add, you keep them, you know where you want to store them. That is not a problem now. We have mentioned it. So you can keep it as um, uh, maybe my church, uh, church service. So is it your church service that you attended? And you'll be able to put, so, okay, there are different sessions that were there. So what was the first section? So the first section was uh, praise and worship. So praise and worship. So you'll be able to take that information. Once you take the information, you put the points. So if you want, you can put the points. The, uh, you can say main speaker. Main speaker. So what was mentioned? main speaker you can put some of the verses that were put uh, verses attached by the main speaker you can put um, okay how to praise the lord and uh, how to sing it is 
So you put such information like that, then in there, you can able to add some pages. So praise and worship. So you are also going to attach some segments, some pages that you wanted to be there. Uh, maybe the next page under that section one, you are going to attach some further information. Maybe how to worship. ETC. So you're basically taking information, and this information will be in different format. So sorry, you'll be you'll be able to attach it. They're just like a book. They're creating those type of books, and you are going to keep information. Now those people who are good at writing books, want to write a book. This is I would advise you if you're a person who write maybe stories, journalists, and what to use this one is very good because you'll be able to take uh, information. Throw it at different points and be able to organize it later in a certain format that you want and use that information to present it and uh, uh, standardize it in a format that will make much sense with it. So that is basically for that. So we come to the, that is for the inserting. Those are different aspects that we are able to attach uh, under underneath it. So we come to the draw. The draw segment is the one that I mentioned that this one is small finds here when you're using it on a, on a, on a gadget that is attached, be it a, a phone that has a pen, especially the notes, the Samsung notes versions. If you have a pad, uh, maybe an iPad or something that has a pen, this allows you to use the pencil to do a lot of nice drawings. You know, you could be taking notes, you're in the first uh, uh, flowing information, maybe you're in class, the lecture, you don't want to be taking no more old way of taking notes with a pen, you're writing A, one, two, three. You want to be quick at making that note, the, the information that is being granted to you. So what you do is you just get your pen, you're just writing on the page, like no more papers, the way your friends will be writing. Once you write, you copy, you copy. This is the aspect now that will allow you to change. So you can take a color of the pen that you want to use. Once you take that, you can delete, erase some of the information. So uh, you can once you do that that type you can just go now normal, normal text in if you want just to be typing like normal then from there you can insert shapes colors once you're done that uh, doing those insertions and everything you can say they say in ink to ink to text so whatever you are putting in ink uh, you are the pen so say for instance you are the pen and you are able to draw uh maybe uh my name so this works well on 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 a, on a pad uh it's uh i'm using the mouse not too good okay so you're able to write such then once i write something like this so i want i can I have the ability to convert it to into into a text so, so those which I wrote, which were looking terrible, actually have been converted into those words that you are able to, 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 to look at there. So, or to convert into mathematics. So you can do simple mathematics writing, one plus one, two plus two, three plus, you just jot them up because you don't know where the signs are and you want to be quick, then you can just go convert it to math and the signs will be put in as normal as it's supposed to be. So most of this is about this, uh, uh, segment. When you come to history, it will tell us <coughs> uh, we'll be able to find information where it would have come from and uh, other major segments. So we come to review segment. Review, you are going to check the spellings. I think you saw most of our words sometimes they were adding some uh, a red line written underneath it meaning it was wrong. So e.g. worship we wrote with a mistake there so we can just go and ignore if you want you can change it if you want to change and uh, it can get to go just like that so you want to change the, the that way the way it came out and you can see we can put auto correction on whatever was entered with the pen we can translate that information to any different language uh that will, that's of our choice so you can select a page you can do the mean translator and or maybe full page or just a segment to be translated and you can change the language for proofreading or getting that information and doing the spell check. So instead of using English to do that, you can check another language and be able to do the proofreading. 
when they come to review, it's no more as what we had earlier mentioned. So in the review segment, you'll be able to check the Lula, the cover. Maybe you want to change the page for the, uh, sorry, the, the background of the page because you want it to look different. So those are multiple things that you are able to access and be able to change. Mostly this size is on this, the, the things that you want to see. So if you can see, to see that, to show that this is an infinite page, when you look at the pages, some of the books that we have done, we came to lecture and lecture, we were looking under biology. So uh, you look at the zoom out, the one we have done, and the zoom in, it gives you an infinite page that you are able to type quite a number of things and like also we can get to resize it if we wish to resize the page to a, a certain size that we want instead of it just being automatic we can specify it to being uh, the f4 f5 and information will stick to that just as per, per, per specification that has been attached so information will flow as such so tell us actually most of the things that we are doing we are finding themselves already out of our page because we have picked F4. So those are other things that we are able to do. Microsoft uh, OneNote is very good. It's very, very good actually. If you get to know how to use it and you are able to link it to your account because I'm, I'm speaking to you, I can be able to take notes on my phone. So once I take those notes on my phone, I can be able to export it as a PDF and that information will be taken note properly. This will show a lot of different facets because I'll give you an example. You take notes from a different page and you want to use them in Word and this is find the font is not okay, you find the spelling is not okay. A lot of facets are not given why you can edit and bring that uh, alive to those words, maybe the design you want to attach a picture, you want to make a video, you want to do a lot of facets that are added in there. Now, when you use a note taker like this one with a touch uh, pad or touch gadget, uh, you'll be able to modify ways, do a lot of things and take information quickly, modify it, send it and categorize it in a format that you want, send it as a picture and information will get to be shared. So uh, it's one of the key I love it uh, for the note takers. Uh, you get to enjoy it most, more especially the, when you get to familiarize yourself with it because there are a lot of different facets that are there. Uh, you can be able to compare information. You'll be able to do multiple, multiple things. And you can see under each ribbon, there's quite a lot of information that will get to, to be availed for you to get to work around and them applies the shapes and other things. You're able to change information, text to math, and different, different things. For those who are uh, preparing maybe questions for uh, this pupil, uh, especially in primary stage of uh, education, you find that you want to prepare a question. Now, you, when you go in words, you have to look where the minus is, the pluses. You have to do a lot of things. But this one will allow you to do a dirty work of the typing or writing in your own handwriting. They need to be able to sense provided you are able to make them visible enough, not depressive enough. Then you'll be able to see how that information will get to be flown, arranged nicely, and be nicely spaced. And the information will flow as different. You are going to attach dates uh, to your presentation that you have. Away from that, you are going to attach uh, quite a number of um, other things that you, you wish to, to, to show. So the information will come out like that. And it will be nice once the full presentation is done. You'll be able to, to love it. So you can get to change how do you want, do you want to see it as a full page. So once you're done, do you want to see it as a full page? Or how do you want to view it? So if you don't want to be seeing the pain and all this, once you just go on the full page, you see, it will just be a full page that will be popping here will not have a tab, but once you put your arrow up, that's where now you get to have the segment that you would wish to, to see. So it's uh, it's really fancy and you get to love it more when you are you practice more often and you you enjoy it uh, if you give yourself a chance to, 
to learn that information from there. So you want to see it normal with this tab on top, that is fine. You can always pin the information. You want to keep this window always, whenever you open, it's always on top and it will come in first. That is fine. So you are able to pick and do, and put that information. And so basically, that's what we have said. A, a full review is, uh, we've mentioned the view. It's just how you are going to view what you have presented. How should they be presented? How should you view them? So easy reading. Talk of reviewing, it's basically you're trying to spell check or trying to say some specific words that you had written that you want to understand or go further outside your speech uh, vocabulary from what you've written to go online. The thosolas mentioned they want to change a different word meaning. So you've written the word uh, carnivores, can carnivorous. Now, I want to find another way, similar way that might mean the same, so you're able to pick different ways that will give you that, and quite a number of other things that you are able to do the language, you're able to change, and you're able to chat. I love this one. Uh, at some point, I found myself, especially if you're working with people of different language background, this is very good because you just be able to write a fancy, fancy word or an audio, then you do the translation, and you'll be able to do quite a number of such things. So... History is basically what you've done, what you've worked on, pages that you've visited, the versions, and how you have updated that information. Home will give you the editing, formatting, and formatting of the way that you're entering. The insertion will be attaching different facets that have not been done by you to be added to your format for easy presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, this actually marks the end of our presentation for today.